Hey everyone. Okay, so today I am going to review a product for you um, that worked for me um, when I was pregnant. Well, I am still pregnant. Um, this go round, um, I was really nauseated um, early on in the pregnancy, and I had tried several different things and. Um, Jack B. Natural had sent me some Ginger Wonder, which is this right here. It's um, a syrup. So they sent me this to try, and lo and behold, it worked. So um, basically, it's just um, a syrupy consistency, and you can take it straight, like just a couple of spoons of it. I'm sorry, my son's playing over there. So, um, so you can take it, you know, straight from the bottle, or you can mix it and stuff. So early on, the consistency was extremely too thick for me to take straight. Um, it was kind of like really gaggy. <laughs> um, and I will say that the flavor um, isn't the best. It doesn't really have a good flavor. It's kind of, it's just not really good tasting by itself. So what I would do is, Usually in the morning when I would get up, I would get um, a hot glass or a hot cup of water and I would pour two teaspoons. I think I poured two teaspoons. I haven't used it in a little while. I <laughs> can't remember how much I was using. Yeah, I was using two teaspoons. So I'd pour two teaspoons in a hot cup of water um, and I drank it like that by itself and just kind of sipped on it. And like I said, by itself it's not really that good. So I started dropping a peppermint into my hot cup of water and that seemed to make it taste a lot better. So I was doing that and that was working. I would just sip on it like it was a hot cup of tea. So that helped. And I guess you could put it in hot tea too if you want, if you like hot tea. One or two um, teaspoons in hot tea is not really going to alter the flavor of your tea too awful much. Um, so yeah, that's, that's an option. Um, another thing you can do with it is put it in seltzer water if you like the bubbly. Sometimes when you're pregnant, the bubbliness, the carbonation of seltzer water is very soothing to people's stomachs. So you could add one to two teaspoons of this to your seltzer water and use it that way. You can also cook with it in recipes that calls for ginger. Although as far as early pregnancy is concerned, I think it's, I think it's a little hard when you're nauseous to kind of eat. Um, but if you don't use all of your ginger syrup by the time your nausea goes away, which I haven't, I've only used, it was pretty full to the brim. So, and I've used, I'm trying to see how much is in it. I've used it down to here. So I haven't used all of it, but you can use it to cook. So basically what it says is it enhances and soothes digestion. It makes 24 cups of delicious tea or ginger drink. Uh, great on pancakes and ice cream. Now, I haven't tried that one. <laughs> um, and try and stir fries and marinade. So, you can definitely use it after um, your nausea has gone away. Or if you're nauseous and you can still eat, it's a good option. Now, it didn't last all day long. You can take as much as you want during the day. Um, it says shake well for full benefits or a quick pick-me-up take one to two teaspoons as often as desired so you can take it as often as you need throughout the day um, I didn't need it that often but it did um, help get rid of the brunt of my nausea and then I would still get you know a wave here and there of nausea throughout the day but um, for the most part this really really helped um, it is USDA organic so that's um, really good let's see what else it says for you uh, straight off the spoon you can take it straight off the spoon and ice sparkling water um, make a ginger drink or as a tea and hot water naturally gluten free 100% vegetarian no artificial flavors or colors so uh, one thing is is you do have to keep this in the um, refrigerator and um, also when you use it you want to shake it really well I would notice when I made hot tea that once I shook it really good and I would pour it into the hot tea, you could see like it would settle. 
I guess it was like parts of ginger root, so it would settle in the bottom of the cup. So I kept a spoon in it so that I could stir it before I took a sip each time so that I knew that I was actually getting the ginger in my system. But anyhow, I really like this product and um, I think it really works really well. I will put the link below in the description so that you can check it out if you're interested. Uh, but if you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section below and I'll talk to you guys later.